again a warm welcome to deji online today we are going to discuss one of the important technique known as the jam board in google meet it is very much similar to a white board to teachers also we can save and share this to our students or participant of the google meet we can access the jam board using www.jamboard.google.com then as usual you can start a google meet and present your jam board window now i will discuss the all details in a very simple manner you can simply open a jamboard window by typing jamboard.google.com then the jam is opened here as usual you are starting a google meet and from there you are selecting the present now button from that you can select a chrome tab first of all you will have to open the jam board in another chrome tab so i am selecting chrome tab from here then selecting google jam board and i am using the share button then it will show the google jam board in the sharing window from there you can share the corresponding jam board to the participants of the google meet in the right bottom corner you will saw a plus symbol and for starting a new jam you please click the plus symbol here you can see an untitled jam also you can see a toolbar on the left side of the screen there are various tools are available pen tools are there marker tools are there highlighter tools are there brush tools are there and also there are selective colors that you can use in the jam board then there is an eraser then there is an select tool you can also insert the sticky notes and also you can insert images then there is a laser tool so by using these tools you can use the jam board i am selecting a pen tool and by using a certain color i can write something on the screen also if you want you can use the eraser there is an another important feature of the jam board is the sticky notes you can select the sticky notes and uh, using the keyboard you can type anything here i am typing something sample text so you can move around to these sticky notes anywhere you want to and also you can rotate also you can duplicate if you want and if you want uh, you can use another color i'm changing the color here and using another knot you can put these sticky notes anywhere in the screen there is one more important thing that you can use that is the insertion of an image this is the corresponding tool for adding images by clicking it will show a different window and from that window you can select your own image from the computer or you can make a search in the internet here i am searching google image search and searching for a ihrd symbol 
to show various images from the internet and selecting one and it will be automatically inserted to a corresponding jam window if you want you can set the background also using the background menu which is available at the top of the jam here i am changing the background to blue this is one of the frames of the jam board you can switch to new frames if you want then you will get a blank jam or otherwise you can go to the previous one there is an important feature that means you can save this jam using these three dot buttons which are available on top of the screen on the right side you can download this jam as a pdf file another important feature is to share the jam board window to the participant of the google meet for that you will have to select the share button from the top right side of the window here i am selecting the share button and a corresponding window will be opened there are two methods by which you can share the jam to participant of a google meet you will have to use the particular email addresses the second one is to use a shareable link i am selecting the second one that is to get a link i am selecting the get link then it will present a shareable link and copy this link again going back to my google meet window and from the chat box am pasting this link and passing it to the participants of the google meet then all the participants are receiving the link anyone can use this link to open the particular jam so i am logging in as a participant here i am selecting the jam link here the participant can also use the same jam window and he can also make changes here i am using some brush tools also changing the background to a graphical format and all those things are suddenly reflected in the jam window i'm going back to my original window here also the things are changed so this is an effective way by which we can communicate with the participants if you want they can also save the corresponding jam files to pdf if you want to stop presenting you have to again go back to your window and stop the presentation i hope that by watching this video you can very easily implement the jamboard techniques in google meet it's an effective way to communicate with the participant of the google meet if you like this channel you please subscribe it
and pass its link to others. Thank you.